In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use an 8-ball command in your Twitch chat with stream elements. My name is Tree and I make streamer support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. Just like you, I'm also a streamer. If you want to check me out, link is down below in the description. So we go to streamelements.com and we log in. If you've already logged in, you just click here and click on the dashboard. We're going to click on streamer bot here and then go to modules. Here we scroll down until we see 8-ball and we make sure that this is ticked on. It might already been ticked on for you. For the settings, we're just going to click on it somewhere on the bar. It doesn't really matter where. <laughs> and here we have the settings for the 8-ball. If you don't know what 8-ball is, you can ask 8-ball a question and 8-ball will answer it. So, for example, this person asks the Kappa and then the 8-ball responds with the 8-ball says, who knows? And they say hello. And then the able says never. It doesn't make any sense. It's fine. basically just a random answer generator. So in the message tab, we will see all the answers it can give. Sure. Are you kidding? Yeah. No. I think so. Don't bet on it. Yes. Doubtful. Well, all these the able can answer. So the able says, and then behind that it will say one of these things. Here is a bar, and you can literally say whatever you want, <laughs> like lol. Now lol is one of the answers. Of course not. It's now one of the answers. So if you would say, would I find my soulmate soon? It might answer, of course not, or lol. <laughs> or how should I know, right? You can have whatever you want. So you can basically remove any of these and add whatever you want. If you have a team going on, I like cow, you can have them in a cow team, like a uh, holy cow. I will never give my cow for that. I'm bad at making these, you see, but you can basically put in whatever you want. That's the idea. And here we see user cooldown. What does this mean? This individual user can only use the 8-ball command every 5 seconds. This is in seconds. It's a seconds right here. You can have it 500 and then it's 500 seconds. You can have it 0, then it doesn't have a cooldown. Now on this side we have global cooldown. This is also in seconds, but besides the user, other people can also use this command. So if person one uses the command, person two doesn't have this user cooldown because this only is for user one that used the command. User two will look at the global cooldown, which at the moment is higher than the user cooldown. So we basically can forget about the user cooldown. This means that this command can't be used more than once every 15 seconds. I would recommend having the global cooldown lower than the user cooldown. This way you basically prevent people from spamming the command when other people also want to use it. If you have the user cooldown be 20 seconds, the global cooldown 5 seconds, what this means is the 5 seconds after the 15 seconds until the 20, somebody else than user 1 has the chance to use this command. This way user 1 doesn't claim the command, right? Or you can have no cooldown if you don't mind the spam. The who knows is from this area, but the emote the a is using comes from here, the emote tab. And in the emote tab, you can basically put as many emotes as you can. In the emote tab, you say, what emotes are they allowed to use in the responses? PogChamp, for example. Well, we can click that away. And now they can't use PogChamp, but I do have emotes myself, like tree lurk. And I can add that and now it can also use my tree lurk emote. So here, if I go to my emotes, you can see that this is the tree lurk emote. We need to make sure that we have the right capitalization, which apparently I, f I didn't have the T capitalized. Tree lurk without a capital T, tree lurk. If you want to find out any of your emotes names, go to a chat or your chat and hover over these emotes. Then you will see the name tree rage with a capital R. Tree Wow with a capital W. Tree Quark Love with a capital K and L. Make sure that you keep that capitalization correct. You can add as many as you want in here. You can press enter if you're done. It goes for this one as well. If you're done with the sentence, press enter. How can people use the 8 ball in your chat? Like you see in this example, exclamation mark 8 ball and then the question. Exclamation mark 8 ball. And then we write, do I get famous? You can write whatever you want, but this is just a test question. And now we see most likely 
and it uses the little emote. If you go to emotes, we can see that it's allowed to use that emote in their response. This will be the same in every question. It will tag the person first that asked the APO, then it will say APO says dot dot dot, and then this is one of the messages here. And then after it might use an emote, it might not. It chooses that itself at random. So this is all randomized. It's not actual faith, it's just randomized. But I guess randomized can be faith. I would say don't take the questions too seriously that you ask the eight ball because you know, I wouldn't like bet on things. I will definitely not put your life on the line for eight ball because uh, you know, it, it just grabs random answers about the ones that you typed or that were already in the bot. Besides from that, I have a Twitch channel. I also have a YouTube channel with gaming. It's called Tree Gameplay. I'll leave that down below in the description and right here in the card for you too. And we just asked the question, do I get famous? Which, I mean, the April said most likely. So I guess that is true. I'm gonna get famous most likely. If you want to get famous as well, did you know that variety streaming is a bad idea? And that's not just me saying that. It's also said by a Twitch partner with more than 800 average views. We're going over his view on variety streaming in this video. So I'll definitely love to see there. And if you want to learn some cool things to do in OBS, I got a playlist with OBS tutorials right here. And subscribe to not miss anything right here. I'll see you there or there.